hi everyone okay this is what we have we have b plus b to the power of 3 equals 2 right how do we deal with this you might be tempted to factorize what we have here b is common to them but if you do that and this is not zero you cannot proceed so what do we do just sit back and learn with me we have b plus b to the power of 3 equals 1 plus 1 that is understandable okay what if i still write b plus b to the power of 3 equals 1 plus 1 to the power of 3 so that what we have on the left will now be in this form mind you 1 plus 1 to the power of 3 will still give us 2 over there so we have not changed anything now we have b okay we are going to rearrange so we're going to have this b and this one together so it's going to be b minus 1 b minus 1 then plus i write b to the power of 3 which is this then this becomes minus 1 to the power of 3 and we equate everything to 0 okay so from here now we have b minus 1 separately plus b to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3 we'll do this separately and equate all of this to 0 now we have this as difference of two squares so let me go there right away difference of three squares difference of um two cubes rather difference of two cubes this is raised to the power of three this is raised to the power of three so and we're subtracting them so it's better we call it difference of two cubes and if you have x to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3, this is x minus y into x squared plus xy plus, B, um, plus y squared. Write y squared here. So this is what we have. Now our x is b and our y is 1. So let's write this one first. We have b minus 1, then plus for this one now, I'm going to write x minus 1 and it's b minus 1. x minus y becomes b minus 1. Then into this x squared is b squared plus xy, that will be b times 1 and it's b then plus y squared which will be 1 squared and it's still 1 everything here is equal to 0 now this and this are common they are the same thing so b minus 1 will come out as a common factor guess what will be left here 1 plus this is already out so only this will be left if you like put that in bracket we have b squared plus b plus one then we equate to zero now the next thing is to open this inner bracket as we have b minus one common factor then we have one plus b squared plus b plus one everything equal to zero now we have b minus 1 then here we have um, b squared I want to write b squared first plus b then 1 plus 1 will give us plus 2 then we equate this to 0 now that we multiply this and this to get 0 so one of them must be 0 then so that means that one, um, b minus 1 is 0 or what we have here b squared plus b plus 2 is equal to 0 and i want to believe you know that this bracket here does not change anything so our b is 0 plus 1 
meaning that b is 1 from here right and from this side we'll now say that b squared plus b plus 2 is equal to 0 so let's work on this right away okay so we're going to use quadratic formula for this but for the formula we're going to have something like a b there so permit me to change you know let this b be equal to x right so that we'll now have x squared plus b okay b is now x so x squared plus x plus 2 is equal to 0 so the quadratic general formula x will now be minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so our x comes down b is the coefficient of x and that is 1 so we have minus 1 plus or minus this b squared becomes 1 squared then minus 4 times 1 times 2 because c is 2 then we divide all of this by 2 times 1 divide by 2 times 1 because a is 1 the coefficient of x squared now x will be minus 1 plus or minus 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 2 will give us um, 8 then we divide all of this by 2 times 1 which is 2 now this x now will be minus 1 plus or minus square root of negative 7 and we divide by 2 x is minus 1 plus or minus square root of 7 oh i did not write negative 7 so let me write the negative here and i'll add one to it since negative cannot be alone and negative 1 times 7 will give us negative 7 so this is okay then we divide by 2 now this x will now be minus 7 plus or minus root 7 multiplied by square root of negative 1 is i then we divide by 2 if we let this i to be there it will appear to be under okay this is 1 it will appear to be under the root so we are going to have our x to be minus 1 plus or minus this i will come first then root 7 as we divide by 2 this is a 2 in 1 solution okay let's get the three solutions together the first one is x1 and that is equal to 1 the second x2 our x2 is from here, minus 1 plus i root 7 divided by 2. This is our x2. Then x3 is minus 1 minus i root 7 divided by 2. The difference here is positive, here is negative. Thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed, it is not too late.